Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, Apex platform event triggers and on which user context they are run and uh, how do you change the user running user of Apex platform event triggers. So basically uh, you need to have the knowledge of platform events. So uh, after a platform event is published, we use a uh, uh, we use a trigger that is created on the platform event to subscribe to that platform event. So as per our articles, that uh, trigger is executed on the automated process user. So, but it had its disadvantages. So like uh, uh, the automated user didn't uh, add the with sharing keywords enabled. So uh, that was one of the case. Plus, uh, you could not send the email messages from that trigger because the uh, because of the default process automated process user. So uh, what Salesforce did was in the Spring 21 release, you can see that in the Salesforce Spring 21 release notes, they have provided us an option to change the default user, uh, running user of the platform event trigger. So we have a metadata type platform event subscriber config, which we can use and deploy using metadata API or tooling API to change the running user of the uh, platform event trigger. So yeah, let's start. So actually we, I, in my org, uh, I have a platform event configured and uh, I'll change the user running user for that and just let me just log into my org. So yeah, uh, so uh, here is the platform event uh, which we have created. The name is the cloud news and uh, let me show you the trigger. So uh, the trigger name is task creation on PT and it's on the platform event cloud news underscore underscore E. So uh, I'm not following the best practices of trigger. So you can, uh, it's just because of the learning purpose. So uh, yeah, I'm just creating a task uh, record here and uh, inserting in the database and I'm just uh, using the database.dml options, uh, email header, trigger user email is equals to true. So that after creation of a task, the uh, email ID of this owner uh, would receive the email. So yeah, when I create a task with the uh, with this trigger, so what it will do is, uh, it will create the task, but the user would be automated process. So yeah, so the, our task is to change uh, the automated process user and make it a our custom user. For example, I have made this user so as my uh, running user of uh, this trigger. So yeah, let's start. So yeah, uh, for doing that, Salesforce has provided us with a metadata type. So that metadata type is platform event subscriber config and you can deploy this uh, using metadata API. Uh, so yeah, let me show you what uh, needs to be deployed. So uh, first you need to create a platform event subscriber config tag. There uh, you need to provide in the platform event consumer. So this would be the name of the Apex trigger also, we can change the batch size of the trigger. So it could be from one to two, 2000 plus now you have to, uh, name, uh, you have to provide in a label. So the best practice is to, uh, to add config after your uh, trigger name. And then this is the, our main important tag. So here we need to provide in the user ID. So we don't have to provide in the email. We have to provide in the uh, username. Uh, sorry, not user ID, username, username of that. So yeah, this is the user tag. So, and uh, you need to uh, create this. Then uh, if you're using met, uh, metadata API, so you need to have the package.xml and uh, I've created the package.xml and here in the types, uh, I have, uh, I'm deploying the platform event subscriber config and the name is task creation on PT config. So this should be same as, uh, 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 this should be the same as this master label. Okay. So yeah, now let me just uh, go back to the file. I've already created it. So, uh, yeah, so here is the file. So you need to, uh, 
so yeah what uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to create a folder and in the folder you have to create another folder uh, with the name platform event subscriber config where you need to create this uh, uh, name uh, task creation on pt config uh, which i have provided in the master label here so you need to create the file and name it uh, with this master label dot platform event subscriber config so the suffix would be dot platform event subscriber config and this is mentioned in the in our article so I, i'll just show you so uh, platform event subscriber component has the suffix dot platform event subscriber config and are stored in the platform event subscriber config folder so yeah that's uh, what i've done now you in this folder you need also need to have the package.xml and the package.xml would uh, have the uh, have the label uh, task creation or pt config uh, in the members and the name would be platform event subscriber config so yeah now you can just uh, logging in log into workbench and Uh, yeah, so I have logged into Workbench. One more thing which we have, which we have to do is we have to uh, create a compressed zip file for this. So I have created the zip file, and uh, you can go to Migration and Deploy, and you can create the uh, you can choose the zip file, and you can just go to Next, and uh, you can just click on the Deploy button, and the deployment would be done. And after that, when you uh, publish an event and the event uh, platform event trigger runs, so it would be called the current user would be changed from uh, your uh, automated user to the user which you have provided. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, a great use case. Uh, we, uh, I recently got one use case where the user was sending emails. From the platform event trigger using the new Spring 21 feature. So, as already mentioned in this article, as already mentioned in this article, you can send emails from the trigger which isn't supported with the default automated process, uh, automated process user. So, yeah, that's one of the use case. So, yeah, yeah, that's all. Thanks everyone for uh, viewing the video. Thank you.